Thank you for joining me at Love Them Knives. LTK here. CRKT with LTK. The pillar. And it is not a big knife. It is a small knife. It is not a light knife, however. It is a steel frame knife that is a frame lock knife. And it looks about 30% lock up on here. Oh, P-I-L-A-R is, you know, at first when I heard the name and I hadn't looked it up or anything, I put P-I-L-L-A-R. Why I put two L's in there? I have no idea. In any case, so... Uh, Voxnays is the uh, designer. And, you know, this knife looks very familiar to me. You know, I was on Viper Knives and I saw the Odino, O-D-I-N-O knife. And you might want to look that up. It's another design. Same person, Voxnays. How about that? I like this knife though. It's really strange. I wasn't sure if I was really gonna like this knife. And uh, I looked around, they were popular and they were kind of out of stock here and there. So I, you know, unlike characteristically for me, I don't usually buy knives at full retail, but I did on this one. Thank God it's not a terribly expensive knife. So that was all right. And you know what? I just printed this out. Whoops. Blade HQ. I think that's where I bought it from. I think I bought another knife from them and threw this in on the deal. In any case, it's out of stock again. 2.4 inch blade satin. The 5311. <clears throat> Not even six inches long. Not quite two and a half inch blade. ATR 13 MOV. How'd they put that high-end steel on there? <clears throat> Sheep's foot. <laughs> Blade. Satin. Blah, blah, blah. Stainless steel. Gray. Right hand. Tip up. Tip down. Frame lock. And here you go. Jasper. Uh, box nails. And he has done designs not only for CRKT, but for others like Viper. And there you go. Reversible. Tip up, tip down. There's your uh, model number again. Cool little knife. And you know what? The other day I saw somebody, and I don't, I can't remember who it was, who had this knife, but it, it, had, a, it had a carbon fiber scale on it. Oh my God, who did that? Somebody, somebody told me that Somebody actually did a custom carbon fiber scale for it. And I thought you could get them. Like, I looked all over. And then one of my buddies uh, off of the, you know, that's a viewer on YouTube. He was talking to me. He goes, dude, you, you can't get that. That Just one guy made that for that. Um, and I can't remember who he made it for. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't Apostle P, I don't think. Maybe it was. Nah, it might have been. Uh, the Wee Knife rep here that does the drinking and thinking videos. Zelric, he's got a YouTube channel. It might have been him. But in any case, I think it was Stasa23 in Louisiana. He's got his own YouTube channel. I think he made, he's a handy guy. In any case, so no, you can't get this with a carbon fiber scale. Uh, and I thought I could, damn it. But in any case, Oh, come on now, baby. There you go. So you can flick it like that if, you know, you're balanced and you know what the hell you're doing. Like I said, tip up, tip down on the uh, pocket clip. It's just a handy little knife. It feels like something in the hand. That's because it's so damn heavy. Uh, which I don't know that that's a good thing. But it's easy to deploy. Check down yonder and... Well, you know what? And I kept, I've handled so many knives. I always have 15, 20 knives around me all the time. Now that looks like, now it looks like synthetic uh, 
washers in there like either Teflon or nylon washers in there it's awful smooth really nice uh, you know not overly fancy steel ACR 13 MOV will it sharpen up yeah would it be easy to sharpen yes I mean you got this huge choil here you don't have any fancy you know compound grinds or uh, recurves or anything like that so this, this would be easy to sharpen up you ain't got much cutting edge to sharpen up anyhow but that is some stuff that is really some stuff you got a backspacer on here and you could put a lanyard if you wanted to I don't know maybe key ring although it's awful heavy for a key ring how much does this thing weigh I should have paid better attention when I showed you 4.1 ounces that's a lot for a little knife that's a lot 116 grams I mean, I know 4.1 ounces is not a lot, but I mean, <laughs> that's not terribly light. I mean, check this out. Now, yeah, let's get this out of the way. I was going to say something, but. Okay. So, two and three eighths. Can we squeeze that out of there? Which is maybe 62 or three millimeters. Um. Uh, under six inches, five and seven eighths, which is uh, not quite 15 centimeters. Not overly large, huh? What do we got for a blade stock? It's a pretty stocky little blade stock on this thing. 0.136. So, yeah. 3.4 millimeters. What do we got overall? Yeah, about 11 millimeter thickness 0.43 so yeah it's not bad it is kind of slender if you're thinking a bigger knife but that's pretty stocky for a little tiny knife but yeah it's easy to disengage this here um although it's not not a big huge cut through is there man that's nice i like the action on it. i just think it's a cool little knife i like I like his uh, his designs. No, I can't do this again. Forget it. I know. I was I was working on flicking it out with my middle finger, and I just got to hold it just right. And now with this on here, I I'm not getting the I'm not getting the thing. But yeah, you can do this. You could. Uh, yeah, once you get it uh, a little a little broke in, it, it uh, and it's not loose. I mean. There's no blade play here and no lock rock, so it's good and solid that way. And it's centered right up. I like it. You know, it's fairly inexpensive, although it's, you know, it's not... I mean, I just like the design. <clears throat> I know it, it's not light, so that's not it. What I was going to say is over four ounces. What do you think this weighs? My Manix, which is about twice the size, right? 2.9. Although that's not fair, is it? That's not fair. How about this fossil? How much is that weigh? That's 4.2. Okay. So this is the compact fossil. And this is, this weighs the same. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, and this is a steel handle. Okay. Both HCR 13 MOV blades. They weigh the same amount. That little thing there, that's a chunk of little meteorite, isn't it? That's some that's some stuff. Oh. Mm. Throw it at somebody, it's gonna hurt them. <laughs> it's like a rock. So it's kind of a chunky, tough little tough guy type uh, knife. It's not for the people who want mm, real, real light, discreet cocktail carry type thing but as far as if you want a small fairly discreet knife but it's it doesn't have to be really light this is a good one and you know what um this forward choil i mean you just bury your finger up here and you can really get all over this blade for control 
Will it cut a piece of paper? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay. It's pretty sharp right out of the box. I mean, you know, that's not the sharpness test, but it kind of gives you a general idea. Yeah, pretty, pretty uniform edge on there. Looks pretty good all the way around. So I don't know if I would, you know, I was thinking about this, but I decided I'd keep it the way it came in the box for the review. But yeah, if I was going to carry it, I might pop this over to here and go tip up. Just saying. It's not a huge deal for me. Knives, when I pull them out of my pocket, if, if it's tipped down, I just pull it right out. And then, you know, so I don't know. It's not a whole lot of here or there. Um, I, I'm, I, it, it doesn't disorient me to have a tip down carrier, anything like that. So, no, it's good, but it's smooth. The fit and finish is pretty good. I like CRT. KT. I like their stuff. Uh, I know steel handle. I know steel frame lock. So it's nothing, you know, exotic there. ACR 13 MOV. Ah, yeah. User steel. Yeah. Good. Corrosion resistant. True stainless. Yes. Sharpens up really easy. Yeah. Very usable. Not terribly exotic. But I like the design. I like the fact that this is a small little brute, but it's a little brute, that's for sure. Yeah, not much. You see this? I guess I never compared it to the Manix, but check that out, you know? I mean, this is kind of my EDC, this and bigger. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. <sighs> yeah. If I want something light to carry, even though this is like twice as big, it isn't literally, but it's a lot bigger, you know, I'll carry that. If I just want something small, but weight is not the, the big issue, would this be cool in carbon fiber though? I know then that'd be crazy. Then what would you do with the HCR 13? I think I'd probably go to a VG 10, at least an OS 8, you know? Um, if you did a carbon fiber, I mean, yeah, I'd like to do S35VN. Who knows? But in any case, it's a thinker. I like it, though. You can actually flick it if you are uh, not wounded, wounded warrior, and uh, you actually have some uh, talent, uh, which I am not uh, having. Oh, well, almost got it. There you go. Get this knife and practice and get back to me. There will be an exam. CRKT. Cool knife, little brute. Yeah, I like it. The pillar, hmm. It's interesting. Why they call it the pillar? It's after Ernest Hemingway's boat. Okay, there you go. That's why they called it the pillar. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it makes as much sense as my ability. There you go. Stop while you're ahead. That's what I always like to say. The pillar from CRKT. I like it. I like the design. But I like Bogsnes' design. I mean, uh, the Odino, um, Odino uh, that he did for Viper. And then, of course, this isn't the only knife he did for CRKT. There will be another one coming up. Check it out. Thanks for joining me. Love them knives. LTK here. Hey, stay with us. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so you can argue with everybody else. And uh, in my comment section, which is always a blast, because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.